Fred. You scared? I don't love thunder. Nothing scares you. Oh no, I love being scared. I have an idea. Okay. What's your idea? Scare me. What? You scare me, I'll scare you. I can be scary. Cue convenient thunder and lightning. Wow. Get up and scare me, motherfucker! We're burning moonlight! Whatever it is, it's close. It's a werewolf! Karen snapped! Excuse me? Pizza! I'm, uh, pizza guy! Glad to see you guys aren't killing each other out here, because it would be the perfect night to do it, you know? <laughs>
Hi, Dad. Hey, kiddo. Oh, my gosh, do you look beautiful. You live. How's your mom's hip? Good, thanks. Good. He thinks you're my girlfriend. Right. Been busy? Yeah. Dean's traveling with clients all the time, and I'm just the buzzkill waiting to schedule things. Just, I'm so stuck. So Dean's going away a lot, huh? On business trips? Dad. Raise your hand if that sounds fishy. He's not like you. He's a good guy, a great dad. Sure, it's nature. Males are forced to fight, to dominate, and to impregnate all females. Maybe he's just not interested in me anymore. Impossible. A woman is at her most beautiful between the ages of 35 and 39. Great, so I have many months left. Billy, you're back in town. Been busy? Yeah. Got a lot going on. Do you? He should be worshiping the ground you walk on. And if he's doing something dishonorable, you need to know. What if Dean's just busy? I'm in a rut. That's it. I think we should follow him. What? I think you better see him in action. This is your idea of incognito? Coming through! Ah! Here's the plaza. This is the place to have an affair. It has the most exits. Exits on three streets. Can you just act a little less excited about this? Because this is my life, and oh. it might be falling apart. I don't know why women get plastic surgery. Because of men like you. Mm -mm. I prefer the factory original. <laughs> yeah, and every other make and model. Thank you. I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> Are there two? Oh, scare me. Have you ever woken up from a dream so real that for a moment you can't remember where you are? This is a lot like that. 16 years. That's more than a third of my life leading up to this moment right here. You found a discrepancy. I found a misrepresentation. Holy. That's one hell of a payout. We should celebrate. Let's go out. So, what do you do? Uh, I'm an attorney. Why, do you like a public defender? Cold corporate faceless guy. All the way. Really? I feel like people keep looking at me weird. Oh, uh, they're just wondering why I brought my dad. <laughs> so he's going to go first. OK. How long till this stuff is supposed to kick in? It's going to hit you like a wave. That's it. I don't know what happened. You all right? We need to find the guy from the We need to find right now. Give me back my drugs! The universe is trying to tell you something. Pay attention. You still think you're on drugs? The universe knows what it wants. Balance. Fighting that will just throw your life into chaos. You are almost there. You're going to make this rain. That's a twist. of the desert has the power to seduce. I ask you, have you ever loved so much? So possessed by jealousy. That you might kill. You had something to hide. The crime is murder. Should have hidden it, shouldn't you? The murderer is one of you. I don't feel safe here. I don't feel safe with any of them. It's too late to change events. It's time to face the consequences.
I have investigated many crimes, but this has altered the shape of my soul. I am Detective Hercule Poirot, and I will deliver your killer. How many great stories are tragedies? Brad. Howard doesn't name anymore. The people who make it are the ones who make it happen. One, two, three. Yo, I'm gonna count around. One, one, two, two I'm gonna... three. It's either me or it's him. He writes all the songs, man. So we're looking for a drummer for this Saturday and possibly permanently. I'm pulling for you, bro. Uh, what's your band's name? Us? No, the other band I'm looking at right now. The Bangers? The Moody Boys. Generation Smoke. Oh, you guys. so bad. <laughs> What new bands do you have for me? This is this cool band. I saw them over the weekend. I think you're gonna like it. You guys want any uh, coffee or uh, booze? Oh yeah, I'll take some booze. What did you guys get up to last night? I, he went straight home after the show. Do a little drinking. <laughs> How old are you? He's 21. 21. Do you think it's fine that I'm not like 21? Yeah, dude, we're here. New new band name is Stylo and the Murder Dogs. Then, great. Hey, hey, I know you. Have we met before? Ha uh ha. -huh. That's Melanie. She's a nasty little kid. I'm a cat person. <laughs> There's also Kirk. He's our lead singer. Is she okay? Yes, she's fine. He can be a little, you know, the talent. What the hell is going on here? We lost Kirk. You lost Kirk? What, you like a little kid in the mall? Go find him. When you get a shot at something like you got right now, you gotta make it happen. We'll find him. Count it up, dude. You don't have a microphone. Right. One, two, three. Understand what's going on around you. You are in a state of war, and you have precious little time to save yourself. process which we call active measures the first stage being demoralization it takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation the next stage is destabilization what matters is essentials economy foreign relations defense systems the next stage is crisis with a violent change of power structure and economy period of normalization. This is what will happen in the United States if you allow all these schmucks to put a big brother government in Washington, D.C. who will promise lots of things, never mind whether the promises are fulfilled or not. time bomb is ticking, but every second, the disaster is coming closer and closer. The danger is real. Yeah. 